let's make some bread. To start with, I've put 350 grams of heritage flour into my bowl. I'm going to make a well and pour the water into it. This is tap water, which has been sitting out on the counter overnight, and this allows the, any chlorine in it to evaporate, which could potentially interfere with the fermentation process. Into the water, I'm going to put 75 grams of ripe starter. The starter should be thick, smell good, have little bubbles in it. And in it goes. Now, first of all, what I'm going to do is mix the starter into the water. So just basically go in and with your fingers, just try to dissolve the starter in with the water. And you'll see it becomes nice and bubbly. And then using three fingers, slowly start to mix, blending in some of the flour as you go. So as it gets harder, I'm going to start to press the dough into the flour. And I'm going to use a little dough scraper to help me with this process. First of all, to get any dough off my fingers, uh, but also just to bring the flour down, which is around the sides of the bowl. Now it's important that all of the flour comes into contact with some of the water because this part of the process is about hydrating the flour and it takes time for flour to hydrate. So don't be too impatient at this stage. And also don't be tempted to add any more water. This recipe has 70% water to flour, which means it's classified as a high hydration sourdough but I have purposefully kept the level of water at that level because spelt is extensible, which means it spreads out. And if you add too much water at this stage, it will make the dough harder to handle later on. Okay, so it's coming together. And I'm really trying to fold in all of this loose flour so that it's all in contact with the water. Turning the, the dough over and pressing down. There we go. So now I'm going to leave the dough for two hours and I'm going to cover it. You can cover it with plastic, a food cover like this, or probably the best thing is just a damp tea towel like this. And I have a, a dough bowl cover as well.